Alex is coming with me. I was just trying to save some time for later on. Good morning, it's Friday. We are going to wrap around and after that I'm going straight to Edinburgh to give the car back, which I don't really want. And then after I come back, I have to take my car and pump the tires a wee bit because I don't know why the air just ran out. That's not the car we're taking, we're taking the black car. Come on. Hiya. Hiya. Just returning, are you? Yep. How was everything for yourself? Cool. That's great. I wish you a second. I didn't do that. I did. Really? And that's everything done. The car has been given back, everything's cool, the deposit has been returned and all the costs have been billed to the insurance company. That's how it's done. Perfectly. So it's gonna be here then? So it's gonna be here like 20 past 9 or something? 25 past. Okay, so. Right, I'm on park and ride right now. I got in here by bus, obviously. That was um, like probably 200 yards to get from where I was to here. I just couldn't get across like a huge roundabout. There's no paths for just pedestrians, so I had to take a bus. But I'm here. If my boss won't be here by half nine, I'm gonna take a bus. But all I have to do right now is just wait. It's um, five to nine right now, so I've got about 30 minutes to wait now. That's the boss just coming in to pick me up. I don't know where I should go. Um, there maybe. And that's me back, in my own car, back in the car park. All cameras running. The whole pump was covered with diesel. 
had to go and wash my hands. Now, the whole thing with yesterday's cinemagraph, that took me about an hour to do, and I've got all the footage of that recorded. But then when I was editing the vlog, I just thought to myself, right, there's so much to, I really wanna say about that, um, and so much to actually show about that. But it's pointless to actually keep you for the next 20 minutes to watch that. Uh, so basically I just did that huge cut and then it was done. Um, I didn't explain anything much about that. I know, but um, it's difficult for me to explain things that I already know. That's why I wouldn't be a good teacher just ever. Because trying to explain things that I figured out by myself uh, would be very, very difficult for me to explain. If I would learn something uh, using books or the ways that somebody else taught me, I could probably teach you that path yet again. But if there is something I'm figuring out on, on myself, there's definitely no way I can show you how I did that. I'm gonna actually attempt to make another cinemagraph. I've got another idea, the picture is already there. It's gonna be done mostly from picture, not from um, a video as it normally is. So I'm going to be cheating it a wee bit, but the effect will be exactly the same. I'm not gonna show you how I do this, and it's not because I'm trying to hide anything. It's only not to keep you through me mumbling just stupid things for the next 20 minutes to an hour. I'll just show you the finished product. Now, I know this is the end of the day and I haven't shown you anything, but I did it, it's finished, it's exactly what I wanted, and actually, the whole idea of doing this cinema, uh, and actually, the whole idea of doing the cinemagraph kind of changed for me. And I've got a great idea how to do them high quality, which is exactly what you can see right now. There you go. Now I'm going to get two more plugs, smart plugs for Alexa to make her even smarter. Done. That's just some LEDs like in extra film light. That's all I'm having them for, nothing else. Now, it will be easier if I won't be holding that camera, so it will be better if I just switch to that one. So, there you go. Now, obviously, looking at all of that and those, you can see that I like light because light is friendly with cameras. More light equals better quality video. But all of this that you see is really a mayhem to be honest because it's not done properly. It's a mess literally everywhere and it's not how I want it to be. Therefore when this desk will be redone, everything, all cable management, all lights also will be completely redone. All of those film lights and the LED strip above has been connected to Alexa. Film lights on. Okay. In addition to um, desk lights and the film lights, this happened today. Alexa, living room on. Okay. Now you're gonna ask me why all of those lights and switches and echo dot 
are important right now and why am I talking about them? It's because of this. This is a remote that I built to control all of those switches or maybe just a part of them because that's not all of them. There are still some around the house. In general, every single kit of those switches came with a remote and when I decided to build a smart home um, I came up with an idea of making it like a smart remote that will control literally everything from your couch and you've got access to all of those switches remotely and those are not IR um, switches those are radio switches so literally even if I'm sitting here I can switch on or off lights upstairs or appliances or whatever I really want. But that's really an outdated uh, technology right now. I'm still gonna be using it, but only up till the moment when I switch everything from this onto the TP-Link uh, Wi-Fi wireless switches. The ones that I'm using right now for all the lights and the living room lights. All of that is happening because uh, when I started doing this project, I said to myself that it would be super cool if one day we could just tell some kind of a computer to control this or that in the house, just as we saw in those Hollywood fantasy movies. And this is precisely what was driving me when I was designing this. I was using this setup for the last eight years, I think. As soon as we moved in here, I began working on this project. And literally, those switches, or those and more, were scattered all over the house. Upstairs, downstairs, in all the bedrooms, kitchen, living room, my office in here as well. The whole design behind this is literally just three of those stripped completely to the electronics, then a plastic box which I bought in some electronics store, holes drilled, then all three remotes put in the sides, and there it is, then just add labels, and this is done. Obviously, just as I say, I will still be using it uh, until I replace all of those with the wireless switches, but as for now also, I will take some of them to work because I use lights at work that I'm not really keen on getting under the desk to switch off every day, so that will be a super solution. As for now, still the lights behind me are operated by this. Simple. Now this solution works perfectly. There's really nothing I can say uh, that is bad about it and can actually justify me changing it to Amazon Dot and TP-Link wireless switches. It's just me, my vanity and the pursuit behind the the new things and going into the 21st century and having a smart automated house until i get more of these i'll still be using this